Sometimes I walk a little faster in the school hall just to get next to you. Sometimes my name is Hannah Montana. Oh. oh, hey there. That's convenient. My camera is outside of my showering place. Now that you're here, I mean, might as well get started on the show, right? Today I'm going to show you guys how to make household items out of ordinary stuff. So when you guys are ready, let's get started. Hello there. I'm Dr. Jacob Trumbull. Some of you may already know me. Uh, okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to build a paper airplane using stuff you have around your house. You're going to need paper, scissors, an eraser, uh, colored pencils, a wallet, a list of stuff you need for your architecture class. So you ready? Okay. Let's start this out. First you gotta take your paper and you're gonna fold it in half. Like this. Okay, then you're gonna take the other half over here and you're gonna fold it backwards on itself. So now you should have two halves. One half over here and one half over here. You're gonna flip it over two times. One and two. Now you're gonna lay it down on the floor. You can take your scissors and you're going to cut the edges off of the rhombozoid. Uh, you're going to take both of these parts and you're going to place them right on top of each other, like this. You wave hi to your architect. Hey, architect. Hello. Okay. It should look like a swan at this point, as you guys can see. Okay, then uh, you can let it sit for three days. Uh, we actually already have one over here that was put up three days ago. And this is the final product, guys. All right, so now you guys want to see how this baby test flies. Uh, here it goes. Maybe it'll work the second time. Maybe it'll look pretty. Oh, and then we have guests. <laughs> A couple of reasons why it's cool to make paper airplanes. Everyone drives an airplane, so one already. Number three is what if one day <laughs> I'm just kidding I did that on pur I, I I wasn't saying anything on purpose like this see it was funny right you thought your volume was off uh, yeah that's All right, guys, this is uh, the question and answer segment for uh, Jacob Trumbull. S Sasha Augie from Omaha, Nebraska asks, Hey, Dr. Trumbull, what makes the ocean salty? Thanks for the question. Don't believe everything you hear. Jane Stacy from Stockton, California asks, What, in your opinion, is the healthiest fruit? Jen, Jane, can I call you Jane? Of course I can. Um, the healthiest fruit, in my opinion, would have to be the Logan Berry. You guys know Logan from Wolverine? That's, that's why they named it the Logan Berry. Because he's so strong and muscular. And, and that's why it's so healthy. Because if you eat berries, that's what it turns you into. Logan. Thanks for that question. That was actually a pretty good question, guys. Keep those coming in. Well, that's all for the question and answer segment. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm also... I'm really... I always have to pay attention to all my dear fans. Uh, so here's, um, here's a clip of me uh, saying hello to them. Hey Johnny, roll the clip. That's all the time I have today. Uh, I have to go back to watching uh, Keanu Reeves movies and uh, watching this guy do this. No, <laughs> you put that off. <laughs>